Matai chapter 2. Now when Yeshua was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herodes the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Yehudim? For we saw his star in the east, and are come to worship him. And when Herodus the king heard it, he was stirred, and all Jerusalem with him. And gathering together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the anointed should be born. And they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written through the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, land of Yehuda, art certainly not least among the princes of Yehuda, for out of thee shall come forth a governor, who shall be shepherd of my people, Yishra'el. Then Herodus secretly called the wise men, and learned of them exactly what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, and said, Go and search out exactly concerning the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word that I also may come and worship him. And they, having heard the king, went their way, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy, and they came into the house, and saw the young child with Maria his mother, and they fell down, and worshipped him, and opening their treasures they offered to him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herodus, they departed into their own country another way. Now when they were departed, behold, a messenger of Lord Yahweh appeared to Yosef in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Mithraim, and be thou there until I tell thee. For Herodus is being about to be seeking the young child to destroy him. And he arose and took the young child and his mother by night, and departed into Mithraim, and was there until the death of Herodus, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Lord Yahweh through the prophet, saying, out of Mithraim did I call my son. Then Herodus, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth, and sent forth, and slew all the male children that were in Bethlehem, and in all the borders thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had exactly learned of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken through Yirmiyahu the prophet, saying, A voice was heard in Ramah, weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be comforted, because they are not. But when Herodus was dead, behold, a messenger of Lord Yahweh appeared in a dream to Yosef in Mithraim, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Yisrael, 
for they are dead that sought the young child's soul. And he arose and took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Yisrael. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning over Judea instead of his father Herodes, he was afraid to go thither, and being warned of God in a dream, he withdrew into the parts of Galila, and came and dwelt in a city called Nathret, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken through the prophets, that he should be called Anathoraiot.